hey guys and welcome back to my channel today we'll be doing a chinese bang wig installation and today's hair is provided by b show hair now as i mentioned this is a chinese bang wig that means it's constructed to be a chinese bang wig it already has the bang in it it has clips in it and today i'm just going to be a doing a quick installation and of course i have to you know give this wig some style because you just really don't want to just throw it on and go without giving it some jazzy cuteness to it so first things first um i do have her stocking cap on i did slide the combs kind of into the cap and uh the first thing i'm going to do is just sew down the back because um you don't want her wig to just you know come off so i am going to sew the back down to secure the wig in the back and i did do the same thing for the front um I just didn't show it because I just kind of went in like in between the bang a little bit and just sewed it down that way it was secure in the front as well but um yeah I did sew the back as I'm showing you guys here and I did go in between the tracks a little bit and uh, sew it down and I also did that to make the wig lay flatter like her braids are flat and everything but for some reason it's like it's still you know still kind of had like that humpy look towards the top and I hate that cone head Chinese bang type of look so um you guys will see the techniques that I use to you know try to really get that top part as flat as possible so um I will go in with you know like the hot comb holding spray and everything to get that wig laid down as flat as possible and this is what the bang looked like before you know it's basically you know this is how the wig comes like i'm just combing it out so you guys can see as you can see i'm pushing down the top because it had like that humpy look to me and i really didn't like that so um like i mentioned i will go on with the hot comb holding spray whatever i need to use to flatten up that area and then of course i'm gonna go in and you know recut the bang as well and also give this wig a blunt look because as I like, as I, what I noticed a lot about styles, when you blunt the ends, it just gives the style more like, uh, it, it just makes it, in my opinion, just like 10 times even better. So, uh, this video is quick, but it is simple as well. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and stay tuned. So first things first, as I mentioned, I really was focusing on getting that top part to be really flat. So you will see me keep going in with my hot comb and, you know, kind of laying it on the top of that area there. And once I get it flat to my liking, I'm going in with that razor comb and just razoring that bang out some more. Um, we're not really doing a straight across bang. We're going to do more of a razored uh, look. Um, that way it has more like that, you know. It's just like a thing now that everybody's doing. Nobody really does like that perfect straight across bang. Um, everybody just does like that nice little razor cut so you can kind of like play with it and move it around to your liking and, you know, spread it open or, you know, the thing that people are doing these days when it comes to bangs. So I'm just going in with that razor comb and just also widening, why, how can I say this? Widening, <laughs> widening, making her bang wider because it was a little too narrow for her face and that is a big thing as well with the bangs you want to make it to fit to the person's face every bang will not be the same on every person you can't do the bang the same way on every person so you gotta you know you gotta kind of go with them how they look and everything like that so i you know why i made the bang wider and 
I'm just gonna go in with my big um hot flat iron and just you know bump it and just tap the ends don't over bump hard bump C bump none of that like it's just so tacky when you make your bang that hard you kind of want it to fall like just soft and natural in your face so it's not really much of a bump it's just like a nice little flat iron with a twist type of thing so um once i do that and i get the bang how i want it i'm going to go higher up in the bang as well and bump it just a little bit higher so it's not like flat to the top and you know just bump towards the end so i kind of went in between and everything like that to you know give it some you know some height you don't want it to be too too flat as well and i'm just going to keep bumping until i get that desired look and i caught you know like every piece and if necessary i will go back in and raise it some more stuff so i'm just going to keep doing that until i am complete and then i will go in and cut this bob even and you guys will see the major difference of how it will look so stay tuned guys i know the camera is a little bit blurry but i really think it's the glare from the mirror that's shining back towards the camera uh, from the mirror behind me so you can't really see it as clear as you know my videos 
usually would be but i'm just flat ironing out the hair straight before i do my blunt cut and um you can already see a major difference from what this wig started out looking like to what it's looking like now and we are still in the process so just stay tuned but once i get everything uh pressed out i will zoom out once again so you guys can see me cut this wig even but it is going to look totally better than how it first started off so just um you know bear with me guys but um, i'm just going to press everything out as i mentioned and then i will get into the blunt cut So now that I have everything pressed out, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out so you guys can see me begin to do the cut. And I just like to pull all the hair forward, um, pretty much split it in the middle or towards the back and just cut everything even. Then I will go around and just, you know, match the cut up with my guideline just to ensure that it's going to lay, you know, nice, perfect and even. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, cut the other side as well. Um... She really, really enjoyed this look. Like, she loved this look when I was finished. And she actually came from far to get this installed. Matter of fact, so um, I can't remember what state, but I, I want to say it was New York that she came from. And we were going to go with one look at first, but then when she seen I had the Chinese bang wig, she wanted to do that one instead. Um, we was going to do like a curly bob at first, but as I mentioned, she switched her mind. So now that I went ahead and cut it even, as you can see, it gives it a way more better look and i'm just you know checking the guideline and making sure my cut is even in the back as well and just cleaning it up if needed be or you know even cutting it better and everything like that so i'm just combing all that hair in the back um to the back and just making sure that the cut is nice clean and even and then i would just add some little sheen or whatever like that to the hair to give it that nice you know glowing shiny look but not too much oil because if you put too much oil on hair y'all it's gonna look wet and it's gonna be stuck together and it ain't gonna flow right and it's gonna be stiff so you don't want to do that just a little tad bit of oil to give it that nice little shine to it and i did you know flat flat on your bump the ends as well to give it that nice curved look but not too much because it just looks better that way it looks cleaner that way and it looks more complete when you add some heat towards the end so um i am almost done with the finishing look like i mentioned this was a quick and easy tutorial um i hope you guys enjoyed it uh stay tuned for the finishing video at the end and thank you guys for tuning in to i am beautiful husky tv